Hey guys and welcome to something new on my channel and that's something I haven't ever said before or in a long while but here it is the career mode that I I said I'd be starting after Sunderland I, t I was taking a break from Sunderland and I told about two or three people about it and it is Portsmouth now you wonder why I start this with Portsmouth it's not because the stadium is in the game no it this goes Far. This goes very far. Yeah. Um. MGH, massive YouTuber, fantastic YouTuber. God, I mean, he's one of the best Kramer YouTubers out there. But I couldn't help but just sit now and put my head down into into the flipping, you know, the ground and think what has happened because he's he corrupted his career mode with regens a fantastic youtuber but please if you can do the record just don't corrupt it with regens and even a couple of people in the comment section said about it so i i tried to restore some order and start one myself and the immediate target obviously is promotion like what else can you do? We, the ports for the biggest club in league two and Probably got one of the best squads in League Two, and I have to go up without team. I mean, Michael Smith is injured already, which is already a disadvantage. But there we go. The does Burton Albion and FC Ton in our group for the Friendly Cup. Let's get into it. So here we are. We go in straight. No messing about. We go straight into the transfer window because you know we need to boost the squad a bit. I mean, it's not world beaters at the minute, is it? <laughs> Obviously, because we're in League Two. So, I put in a bid for Jack Baldwin from Peterborough. He played really well against West Brom in the FA Cup last Wednesday. Uh, so, I thought I'd put a bid in for him. You know, this team's good, but in real life, it's actually about fourth, I think, at the minute. Which is a bit, you know, ishy for a team that should be in top three. I know League, league Two is a very difficult league. Don't put me to that. Because League Two is not the easiest league to get out of. There are some very decent teams in here. I mean, Northampton, Oxford and Plymouth are running away with it in real life, but at the minute, it's anyone's game, you know. Teams should teams who are not up there that should be up there, <coughs> not and Luton, but there's Isaac McLeod, our leading striker. He used to play for Portsmouth, actually, and Portsmouth fans weren't really happy with, you know, his effort at all. But we do, our, our um, team is set for the season. It would it will become a, a thing throughout the series that the team it is... Um, Brian Murphy and goal, we're back for Kieran Freeman, Christian Burgess, Matt Clark, and um, Ender Stevens. Uh, with a midfield four of Gary Roberts, Adam Barton, Michael Doyle, and Carl Bennett. And up front will be Mark McNulty and Adam, Adam McGurk. Only if we can bring in even more players to boost the team and break into the first team. We've even got some good players, you know, on the bench as well. So Danny Hollands, I mean, he's he's played in League Two before with Torquay and Bournemouth, and he's won League One with Charlton. So no messing about there, he is a decent player. I mean he's got decent stats or League Two player on this game I must say. But we're going on looking for a striker as well because Matt Tubbs isn't on this game and he's probably one of the best strikers in League Two and they sent him out on loan in real life to Eastley. So we did after a few transfer searches, we did put bids for Scott Ogan on loan from Brentford and a loan bid also for Jordan Hugo from Preston. Our first European International Cup game against Burt League One Burton, we lose one 0 Not a good start <laughs> to my reign, obviously. That's not wanted, but Burton are a strong side. I mean the leading League One at the minute, um, in reality. Yeah, but um, we started training as well, so the youngsters I wanna give the youngsters a chance, like Chaplin and Webster, they're two players, the first and the third. Like, I think they can become real good players, I think they can really improve. So here we get our first news about transfers. Jack Baldwin's bid was rejected, so was Scott Ogan's loan bid, but Jordan Hugo's bid was accepted from Preston. We put another bid in for Baldwin because I was really keen to get him. But there we go, it's good news there. Jordan Hugo becomes the first signing of the series and he adjusted the transfer in the wage budget so he could afford players. So here we are back into the transfer market to sign another player. Now on Saturday I said the first person that comes up, the first person who scores, I will sign for Portsmouth. And the first goal went to the final night personal Shrewsbury against Blackpool. So I put in a 260,000 bid in for him for Shrewsbury and they hope to come back to us with good news. So here we are for the game against Ton in the European International Cup in the friendly tournament. I decided to play this one because I didn't want to go out early in the competition in the group stage. I at least wanted a bit of money from the tournament to help us with transfers and stuff like that. 
So we're into the game. I was hoping for a good performance. It's 20 in the Swiss League, the top Swiss League. And as you can see, a really bad time to start the game off. Not the best one. But as you can see, we, but as you will see, even we we prevail in this match and we do come out with a good result. So here is our first, well we had a couple of attacks this off, but here's our first good chance. The boys play over the top to Mark McNulty, he, get, he skips inside, takes a couple on, and it's a fantastic shot into the back of the net, and a great way to open the account for the for the new career mode. It's a fantastic finish, and one that will go down you know, really well in the team. So, in the 25th minute here, we get a corner, the ball is whipped into the box, and... One of the Tom players handballs it and the referee does give a penalty and McNulty steps up again, he shoots, he scores on the spot, it's a good penalty into the corner, no chance of the keeper and it is 2-0 with, um, with another bonus of the Fabio Barini celebration. Because I'm only going to show the goals in this friendly match because it's a friendly match, uh, here is our third goal. Uh, we start a good counter attack downfield after a uh, after a throw in for a ton. McNulty with a very nicely placed through ball to his fellow striker Adam McGurk, and he's got three defenders chasing him. But it's a good finish into the corner under pressure. He takes the, he gets the shot off under pressure. It's a good finish to say there were three players closing him down. And the expert in Albion man makes it three 0 and now we are in a comfortable position to win this match. So in, early in the second half we get another corner, it is whipped in and our defender Christian Burgess gets a header away and he makes his 4 nil to, it f makes his 4 nil, and it's a good header for us and we bring a couple of subs on here, Danny Hollands came on, um, a guy, get, again I said he's been in League 2 a couple of times, he has good stats for a League 2 player surprisingly, I don't know if I already said that myself so I might have, but again here we go again we make some substitutes it's good now for you for EA of introducing where you can make as many substitutes as you want in a friendly match uh, it, get, it freshens up the players a lot more and it's a lot more realistic so the match did finish 4-0 but again we're straight back into the transfer market with a 100k offer for Jake Reason for Wim well he plays for Wimbledon um, I saw him against Knotts and he played really really well um, he dominated the game for them and I thought he's yeah, a good player might, might try and sign him um, we do go with some more players later in the episode, but here we have a game against Vardos. I do decide to sim the rest of the tournament because, you know, there's no point. It's for me, so I just want to go on the season. Our offer from Shrewsbury was rejected for Nathaniel Knight Percival, so we put in an improved offer, and as you'll see, we do eventually get him. Um, our second offer for Jack Baldwin was rejected, so after that I didn't decide to go for him. We simulate the match against the Dulls and we win 2-1, which puts us through to the next round of the tournament with two wins and a loss to our name. We're up against Lugano in the next round, and there's a lot of chance of activity. Our offer for Ben Reeves, Jake Reeves even, was rejected. We put in an improved offer. But after a while, we didn't decide to go for him because Wimbledon just had enough. Our offer there accepted, there we go, that's the right word, for Nathaniel Knight Percival from Shrewsbury. But he did, win, he did want six grand a week, which in League 2 is quite a lot. So, into the semi final match against Lugano. It's the same team as normal, and we win 2 0. That puts us through to the final. I think it was a Carl Bennett double that got us through. He'll be important in the league campaign. He's a really pacey player. He's a good winger for League 2. And it's a good signing. Um, there's a press conference. <laughs> just motivate the guy. Um, another offer rejected by Wimbledon. I mean, they just they just had enough, aren't they? It, they are too, it is too valuable to me. But there's Nathaniel Knight Percival, the second signing of the series. And he's a good addition to the centre-back line because we were short of centre-backs a bit. And it's a good signing for us. And he drops down the league to Portsmouth. So here it is, it's the final against Polish side Zagreby Lubin. They got to the final there, they beat Port Vale, was in it? It was in this tournament, you know. Um, two goals in the first two minutes, I mean, that's a good start to the game, obviously. A few yellow cards, Michael Dort always gets yellow card, he's just a yellow card machine. I mean, Matt Clark scored first, Dion Lane, Ipswich centre back is a good, promising young centre back. Gary Roberts there scores, yeah, MGH, he isn't shit, he is a good player, like, one of the best players in League 2, so shut up, you know. Flipping out just just because you don't think Portsmouth are that good doesn't mean you have to flipping corrupt it with regions. Good YouTuber though. We win the tournament, yay. 
So here we get an offer from Bristol Rovers who are a young striker, can't shout playing. I immediately reject it because, number one, it's not a good enough offer. Well, 170k for a, a young, for an 18 or 19 year old, you know, it's, it's an alright bid. But I don't want to sell him because I feel like he could be one, one for the future. I mean, he's a good striker, he's got plenty of pace on him, and I think he could be good. I mean, he's, in, in real life, he scored the winner in the League Cup in, against Derby in the first round, and Portsmouth won that 2 1. So here we put in a bid for Colchester's George Monker, um, ex West Stand player as well, attacking me on this game. I just feel like we need a, a, a good midfielder in there because I just feel like we need more energy in the midfield. George Monker provides that he scored the goal to keep them up last season at Knox's ex of Knox's expense. Thanks, uh, but he's a really good player, and I feel like we need a lot. A lot. Just while we've got a good midfield so far. But it's, I think it's more defensive minded. I think we need more of an attacking minded midfielder as well. It, Gary Roberts, it says he's attacking mid. He isn't. He is a winger in real life. But it, I think, it, and I also think he'll bring something else to the team. So here we are, first game of the season again away to Newport County at Rodney Parade. It's a big moment. Um, our first offer for from for Colchester of 300k for George Moncur was rejected and as you'll see we just keep putting bid after bid after bid for him because he's a really good player and we want him but at the moment we have to put that aside because this is the first game of the season this Matt Clark um, signed from Ipswich on loan not me it was an actual real transfer um, I feel like he's a good player um, he's in the training at the minute he's almost reached 65 rated Newport Steam here they are, they were one of the relegation at the start of the season, but they've done well recently. Um, Connor Wilkinson up front, big lad, Dean Smalley knows the football league. Medi Leto, quick winner, Mark Burns scored a good free kick against Knotts while playing against the Newport, but we still won that game. <laughs> 96 minute winner. Here's our team, we go with Murphy, Friedman, Burgess, Clark, Stevens, uh, Bennett, Doyle, Barton, Roberts, McNulty and McGurk up for an M&M and &M. Uh, that's what I might start calling him throughout the series. So we begin on our first attack here, Carl Bennett uses his pace really well to try and get past two Newport defenders. He plays it down to Adam McGurk but his pass is really poor. Uh, Newport mess about with it, Matt Taylor plays it to, to Marcy but Adam McGurk there intercepts the ball but his cross is cleared. It comes back to Adam Barton, the ex-Coventry midfielder, and what about that from Adam Barton? Great off volley into the bottom corner, and that is one way to open the career mode account in the league. Look at that sweetly struck. Joe Day in the Newport goal had no chance. 1-0. So we get a corner here, and it's whipped in by Guy Roberts towards Christian Burgess, but it's headed out. Guy Roberts gets the ball, tries to cross it in again, but he's tackled by Seth to Marcy. But Gary Roberts is, he was determined and he wins the ball back, plays it to Mark McNulty. He has a pop from outside the box and it's a great finish. But on the, but on the replay, I didn't find out until I looked at the replay, he did take a deflection. Here we go. Roberts did well to win the ball back. He's a good player. And there, Dust takes a little bit of deflection and it just deceives Joe Day in the Newport goal and it is 2 0. So, our next attack, this is the second half now. Not much happened first the first half. Uh, Newport gives the ball away, we come from here with McNulty, he plays it through to Adam McGurk and it's a good finish across the goalkeeper and it makes it 3-0, really good finish, those two are really linking up well and I think they will be very key in our promotion push this season, um, good play also by the midfield to win it back there and play the ball, f play the ball through and it's 3-0. So shortly after that we get another chance here, Adam Barton plays the ball through to Adam McGurk, he gets a lucky rebound off Daniel Jones, he, he plays it towards Mark McNulty, he finishes it and it is 4-0 and the game is beyond Newport now, it is the 71st minute, now the 72nd minute and frustrated Newport defenders there, it was clear they are trying to push players upfield but they got caught out and McNulty there again for another goal in this game mode and as you'll see later he does score again in another game. So there it is, full time. We win our first game in the League 2 by four goals now, so it's a good start to the league campaign. Um, we, later in the game, we did bring Gareth Evans on for Kyle Bennett, and we brought McNulty off, he was tired, and we brought, we brought Jordan Hugel on, the loanee from Preston, but nothing really happened until the end of the game, and the game finished 4 0. So here before the League Cup tie against Southend, our second bid of 410,000 is rejected by Colchester. They want even more, so I put a 500k bid in for him. Well, I didn't want more, they just wanted to keep him because he's a key player. I said he's the best player in their team. 
Um, so he's worth. A, so they would want a lot for this game. So I know before this game, I decided to change the team around because you know it's the league cup. I wanted to give some players a try, and some players need a rest before the next get home, league game against Carlisle. So here we are into the league cup game against Southend, the first round of the Capital One Cup. Decided to change the team up for this game. I want to give players a rest. I've already said Southend and the league brothers. We're hoping to pull off a shock here and beat them. Nice away kick by the way, Southend it is quite vibrant. Um, there's the fatten end for as normal as you'd expect. I'm making well, yeah. Anyway, here's the team. Be Ryan Fulton comes in and goal. Ben Davis also comes in at right back. I give Adam Webster the final night person to go at centre back. Ender Stevens at left back. Then Evans, Hollands, Doyle and Bennett with McNulty and Hugo up front. Bit of a change team, I've already said, and let's get into it. So the first chance comes into the into the game here when the final that person went sets well plays it to Danny Owens he plays it to John Hugo and it's a great first down shot by Mont Nolte I mean look at that for a finish now I thought then I, mean, I thought what a goal great finish great goal as I've said there repeatedly but look what happens there it takes a flipping deflection I was so annoyed because I thought it was a, such a great goal but at least it's a, at least it's a goal and I'll take it and it's 1-0 so our first chance in the second half comes when Marlon loses the ball, McNulty plays it to Jordan Hugo and Hugo with a fantastic finish here right into the top corner. Um, he, he did well there, he took an Adam Barrett and he hit it right in the top corner, the fatten end goes wild and it puts us two up and it's a comfortable gap for us. So straight from kick off we get another chance here, I did decide to bring Connor Chapley on for Mark McNulty because he did need a rest and we need him for Saturday's game, Carl Bennett wins the ball while plays it to Andy Stevens, he plays it to Jordan Hugo, Danny Hollands escapes past Ryan Lennon if plays it through to Connor Chapley in the substitute and he scores, it went off the post and in and it is 3-0 to us in the 70th minute and surely that sees us through to the next round of the Capital One Cup. Southend so start the attack here where Jack Payne sets the ball, he plays it to Adam Thompson, um, it it, the ball comes to Stephen Hendry, the West Ham Looney and he links up with fellow Looney, Tyrone Barnett and he heads in to score for Southend, don't really know what Ryan Thornton's doing, they really should have got to the ball but it has no effect on the result here and it finishes 3-1. Just thought I'd get an extra highlight in here, the ball is whipped in by substitute Ben Closer, it gets to Ben Davis but it's headed into the goalkeeper's hands and the score means 3-1. So there it is, full time, we win the game 3-1 and it's League 1 South End and we move on to the next round of the Capital One Cup where we hope to get a, a Premier League team. I'm, I'm hoping for Southampton to be honest, I really would like a nice South Coast derby, whether it's at Fratton or St Mary's, it really would be good and it would be good money for us to spend even more chances. Anyways, that's it guys, I hope you liked it, I hope, I hope, I hope this becomes a good career man and a good, you know, start back to the Premier League and I want to get back to the Premier League obviously because Ports are a big club but I hope you liked the first episode Craig Mode. hope you liked some of the signings I made and the game footage as well anyway like comment subscribe um, let me know how I can improve these videos in the comments section like just do what you want be safe be champions and too loose